All right, this is part three of looking at the balance sheet. Now remember it's called a balance sheet because the total assets, which is what the company owns, has to, has to be equal to the total liabilities and equity. Assets are what you own. The liabilities and equity is where you got the money to buy the assets. The total liabilities in this instance uh, are other people's money and the equity is the shareholders share of the money. Now the interesting thing here is notice these negative numbers with some very large corporations these days and Home Depot is not the only one. Uh, McDonald's has negative shareholders equity. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, as we go through but you should be aware that it happens. And it happens mostly because Home Depot has been buying back its shares of stock from its shareholders. Common stock and paid in capital, that's contributed capital. That's the money shareholders, outsiders gave to Home Depot in exchange for shares of stock. Retained earnings is the earnings the company has earned over its entire lifetime, less all the dividends it's ever paid. And notice that they keep earning money, okay? They keep earning income. And they actually keep on issuing shares of stock, but they keep buying it back faster than they can issue it, okay? Now, it's... It's an anomaly, and I showed this to some of my accounting professors, and they said, holy crap, I didn't realize. I, I, I know. I, I look at the, I'm a finance guy. I look at this stuff all day long. So uh, some very large, well-known companies are actually going negative with shareholders' equity. Is that a bad thing? These are historic values. That means they're reporting what happened. Home Depot's been around, I don't know, 25, 30 years, 40 years. Uh, I forget when they were invented. They might have sold some of the, you know, we're looking over here at this $9 billion of, of common stock and paid in capital back in, back in the uh, 2015. That might have been from 30 years ago, okay? When they're buying back these shares of treasury stock each year, they're buying it back in today's dollars. So treasury stock is one of those anomalies and it's what we call a contra account because generally they're all positive numbers, right? Contra account is to add, subtract something out uh, when it's normally supposed to be positive numbers. Uh, ignore other equity. So Essentially what it means is that the historical value of the assets, 51 billion, they owe 54 billion. That means they have negative shareholders equity. Oh, woe is me, does that mean they're broke? No, it doesn't. These are historical costs. One thing that we can look at is what the shares are selling for out on the open market, okay? If you go to the stock market, as of the end of 2019, a share of Home Depot cost $219. They had a billion, 93 million shares outstanding. The market capitalization, which is the market value of equity, the number of shares times what each share is worth was about $240 billion. Well, that's a whole lot more than negative 3 billion, right? When you get to your finance classes, uh, your BADM 321 finance class, they'll cover this in exquisite detail, but here's the reason why. Everything that the accountants report on a balance sheet is looking back at what did we pay for it. What a company's actually worth is reflected in the share price because that is what investors think that Home Depot is gonna earn in the future. So the share price is forward looking, the accounting statement is backward lo looking, okay? And that's one of the differences for the disparities in here. But anyway, you can see that Home Depot's shareholders equity in 2015 was six billion, dropped to four billion, one and a half billion, negative two billion, negative three billion. Oh my God, it is the end of the world as we know it today, except that look what's happening with the share price. 
The share price keeps going up. The total value of the company keeps going up. This is what investors would be willing to pay at a minimum $240 billion, which is considerably more than what the accounting statement values are. They're looking at what Home Depot bought stuff for, not at what they're going to sell it in the future for. All right. So shareholders equity, a couple of things. Contributed capital is money from outsiders coming in. Retained earnings is the income the company has minus any of the dividends. Now, the treasury stock uh, is, is a contra account to reduce the value of those two. And it might look like uh, Lowe's is doing a whole lot worse. They still have positive shareholders equity. Theirs is going down as well, okay? That's because they're buying back shares of stock, but they're not keeping them in the treasury. Treasury stock means when you buy back the shares of stock, you stick them in a drawer somewhere, and it means you can sell them back to the public again in the future. When Lowe's buys back shares of stock, they rip them into tiny pieces. They're gone, and we're not going to reissue them. And what they do is they reduce the value of common stock and paid in capital and reduce the retained earnings uh, to, to reflect that, which Home Depot could do over here rather than put negative 33,194 over here. What they could have done is take some of that They could have taken this down to, uh, let me see what percentage that is. It's ah, come on. Oh, I hate these track walls. So that's about a quarter of it. So they could have just taken this $33 billion and subtracted a quarter of it, or about $8 billion, and made that one, four, three, five and taking the other amount and just reported that as zero. And they'd ended up with the same 6,316,000,000. That's essentially what Lowe's is doing over here, okay? Uh, Home Depot is doing it the hard way. Is that better or worse? There ain't no better or worse to it. You just know they're doing it, and that's all you got to know. All right, and when you forget what any of that stuff means, then you simply go Google it, and Google's your friend. Okay, so we have beaten that dead horse.